Hello, this is Silas here with new video. Today I will be doing acrylic painting using many stencils I made during filming my last tutorial how to make your own stencil. If you haven't seen this, I will put link in the description so you can check it out. I would also like to mention that I am really grateful for all your support and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask in the comment section and if you like my video I would be really happy if you give me thumbs up. And now let's get to work. Here I am applying the first layer of paints using makeup sponge. I am just dabbing with it and I am trying to get slight transitions between colors. After I applied first layer I let it dry and add second layer of colors exactly the same way just to make colors more saturated. I cut out this part so the final video wouldn't be so long. When I am happy with the background colors, it's time to start with the stenciling. I will be using many stencils in this video. All the product used in this video will be listed in the description area below the video, but as I mentioned before, some of them I made by myself and also some of them I bought in local store in my town, so I won't be able to add link to those. But I will try my best to find some similar product if you want to recreate this painting. Here I am using this ornament stencil and because I really want two colors pop up, uh, first I put a layer of white and then I put color on top of it. I am doing almost every stenciling this way.
Here I am painting Mandela. I first sketch it on paper and when I was happy with the shape, uh, I trace it using transparent paper on my canvas. Now I am just following the lines with white acrylic paint.
Here you can see that if you made some mistakes with acrylics or if you simply don't like the colors you chose uh, and this is my case here, it's no big deal. You can easily put another layer on top of it until you are happy with the result. Here I really didn't like the yellow color and also the orange on the ornament above so I, I added layer of turquoise mixed with white. Now it's time to add some dimension. For that I am using my favorite butterfly stencil with a modeling paste. And here I am adding some dots as a highlight on my flowers. For that I am using this wooden uh, toothpick uh, because it works really good for this. I also will be adding lots of dots around my flowers. And this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss my next video. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye bye.